Thousands of Catholics and Christians protested the Dodger game on Friday night during an event where the team was honoring the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. This protest took place after months of controversy and backlash with the baseball team inviting, disinviting, and eventually re-inviting the trans nuns group back to their Pride Night game against the San Francisco Giants. Many protesters were offended by what the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence stands for. Tommy Valentine, the director of the Catholic Accountability Project, shared with us his concerns with the group mocking his religion. And that's why it's so offensive what these men are doing is because they take everything that these sisters and that our church does for good and they twist it and they invert it and they make fun of it and they desecrate it. According to the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence website, they use humor and irreverent wit to expose the forces of bigotry, complacency and guilt that chain the human spirit. Our message today is that anti-Catholic bigotry has no place in baseball and what the Dodgers are doing awarding this anti-hate group is unacceptable. On the same token, we're here to pray, we're here to show love. We don't hate the men who, who pose as fake nuns. We don't hate anybody in there. We want them to see that what they're doing is offensive, it's sacrilegious, it's blasphemous, and we can't let it stand without saying something about it. So we're here to pray, we're here to show love in contrast to the hatred that's going on inside the stadium. The event took place in a corner of the stadium parking lot, which resulted in shutting down the main gate into the stadium. One of the protesters, Bob Tarn, explained to us why he came out on a Friday night to support the protest. To, to express my views and pray for the Dodgers and, the, and the, the group, the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. And it's important that we celebrate the way God made us. The Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence and other gay people are welcome to celebrate who they are. But please don't do it by hating other people, expressing bigotry and hurting, assaulting other people's dignity. Many people were disappointed when they learned of the Dodgers' decision to honor the group with a Community Hero Award and decided to stand up for the religion and what they believe in. I responded um, very sad to hear uh, that the Dodgers was doing this because it's against our beliefs, it's against uh, Catholic beliefs, and it's against our God, and it's against our faith. A lot of the people that live in LA, they grew up going to Dodgers games, but like it comes to a point where if you need to stand up for Jesus um, and you can't go to support them, don't give them your money. Like, like stay home, do other things, but just we need to stand up for our beliefs. Although the San Francisco Giants swept the Dodgers this past weekend, we can look forward to the team's next event. The Dodgers will host a Christian Faith and Family Day at Dodger Stadium on July 30th. Christina Corona, NTD News, Los Angeles.